cooking with Gloria. Today I want to share with you a very delicious fried pork in cilantro that I know you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. <music> garlic cloves, Himalaya salt or the salt you have at home, onion powder, cilantro, one tomato, one bell pepper, one red onion, and the pork meat. This is everything we need to make this delicious recipe. So let's get started. I want to start first with the meat, with the little pieces of the pork meat. I cut the pieces about one inch. Of course, that you could cut them a little bigger a little smaller this is the way i do it here at home to this i am going to go ahead and add one cup of water and i'm going to add the salt remember that the salt is to taste my two bay leaves and you know something i have one garlic here that i'm going to slice and i'm going to add it to the pork meat the reason that i am slicing it so that it releases all the delicious flavor okay let me show you from close up how this looks the pieces are very small and the reason that i cut them small so that they don't take too long cooking i'm gonna go ahead put them in medium low heat and i'm gonna cover it and leave it like that for about 40 minutes my vegetables are nice and cleaned. I already took the seeds out of the bell pepper and I'm gonna go ahead and slice it in little squares. I wanna make sure that all my veggies are cut in little squares, just like this. Look at this. Okay, I am going to continue with my bell pepper and when I'm done with my onion, the same thing, I'm cutting the onion in in little squares but almost the same size so they all incorporate together and they look really good when you add them to your pork meat i have the tomato here the tomato is really going to soften and give such a delicious flavor to the pork meat now i am ready to start cutting my cilantro the cilantro i'm going to cut it in very small little pieces so that it releases all the delicious flavor into the pork meat i'm going to go ahead and just start slicing and cutting it and when i am completely done i have two garlic cloves that i reserved and those i'm going to dice really finely i want to make sure that the garlic really gives a delicious flavor to all the veggies and of course to the pork meat let me show you how this looks look at this Look how beautiful colors you have here. When you add them to the pork meat, you're going to see all those beautiful colors incorporate and look amazing. And of course, taste delicious. Let's go and see how the meat is doing. Okay, it's nice and boiling. And that's exactly how you want it. As you could see, there's still a lot of liquids in there. We're going to cover it and just let the liquid absorb, you know, let the meat absorb and the liquid dry off slowly so the meat really cooks really nice and really soft 
Meanwhile, I am making the arroz Teresita. And of course, you have this rice on my channel already. To the arroz Teresita, I added some corn. And I'm just going to let it cook. You know, the rice only takes about 15 minutes. And then it's completely done. Let's see how the meat is doing. Here, I could see that the liquid are reducing just like that remember don't cook it on high heat always cook the meat in medium low heat and now i'm gonna go ahead and check and see if the meat is a little tender it's a still needs just a little more i'm gonna give it five more minutes and i'm gonna cover it let's let it cook for about five minutes i'll see you after five minutes five minutes have passed and the liquid has already you know evaporated the meat absorbs some. I am ready to remove the bay leaves. They left all the delicious flavor there. And now we're going to go ahead and start getting, you know, browning all the delicious pork meat. Just like that. When your pork meat is like this, then you are ready to add the rest of the ingredients. At this moment, I'm going to add the diced garlic. The garlic really gives it a delicious flavor. The onion powder, the black pepper, and all the veggies. And let's just incorporate everything completely. Once you incorporate it, the tomato starts loosening it up, getting nice and soft. Look at this. The tomato is still nice and whole, but just give it two to three minutes and the tomato will get really soft and we'll release the delicious flavor into the rest of the ingredients. You don't want to overcook it. Just cook when you add all the veggies, just cook it for just 3 to 4 minutes and this is completely done. You can't even see the tomato anymore. Now I'm ready to add the cilantro on the top. Once you add the cilantro, just incorporate the cilantro and this is done now i am ready to prepare my plate i can't wait to enjoy it my home really smells amazing and now i'm ready to add all these delicious ingredients here and of course i love cilantro so i'm going to add a little bit of cilantro right on the top and you know something i am ready for the presentation I can't wait to taste it. My mouth is already watering and I'll see you in a little bit. done with this delicious pork recipe I added the Teresita rice I added the passion fruit lemonade that of course you already have on my channel and the chili and oil of course the chili and oil you already have on my channel I'm going to enjoy this delicious pork meat with the rice a little bit of beans and of course some chili sauce because you well, this is the part I really love and enjoy tasting my recipes. Let's see how this came out. My home smells delicious. I wish you were here to taste it with me. Excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. You know something? The meat is crispy from the outside, but yet from the inside is so tender. It really, the cilantro really penetrated into the meat. 
This just came out amazing. Excuse me. Mmm. Mmm. I hope, my friends, you can make it at home and enjoy it with your family like I enjoy it with my family. And combined with this passion fruit lemonade will even perfection. If you like and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share my video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make a delicious recipe, yes, you are going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying these delicious pork recipe. See you on my next delicious recipe. Subscribe, like, subscribe, and share. And see you on my next delicious recipe. Bye-bye.